So what is lease option investing? Uh, lease options are probably the, the most misunderstood type of investment. It, uh, it has many flavors to it, has many variables in it. But what it is, is you, are, you have a property and you're leasing it to a tenant uh, who's also going to potentially buy the property. And the, how they do that is they have an option to purchase the property. So that's why it's called a lease option. Uh, another term for the lease option investment strategy is a rent to own or a rent to buy uh, strategy. And because the tenant is renting it with the anticipating, anticipation of buying it or and owning it in the future. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why people want to do this. Uh, the number one reason is people can't qualify for a mortgage. Uh, they don't have a down payment, uh, enough of a down payment. So, but they want to own a house. Uh, they want to get into a house that's not an apartment building. So a lot of the rent to owns, a lot of the lease option uh, deals out there are, are usually on single family homes or on, you know, uh, town homes, but aren't on apartment buildings or aren't on condominiums. So it allows people to move out of their apartments into a home without having to put down the big down payment or, or qualifying for a mortgage. And uh, the reasons why they want to do that is usually because their family's growing or they've just had a, a, a kid. And so they, they want a bigger place for their, for their kid to grow up in. And the idea is when you do a lease option is they're going to eventually own it. So they actually pick a, a property that's going to be in a neighborhood that they, that they want to stay in for a while. Uh, the other side of it is you can do a, a, what's called a sandwich lease option. And what you do is you go out and you uh, lease the property from an, a seller so that you don't actually have to own the property. You find a seller who would lease it to you and then you sublease it to someone else. Now, there are certain rules, and depending on the area you live in, where they don't like this or they don't allow this. So just be careful about that. I mean, there's ways around that, too. You can structure the deal directly with the owner, or you can put in an offer to purchase with a deferred purchase. Uh, there's subject to. There's, there's a number of creative financing strategies uh, that you can implement to do lease options or to do any kind of acquisition, actually. But with lease options, it seems to be more prevalent just because of the motivation around somebody wanting to lease the property to you. Okay, so that's uh, lease options.